not to brag, but we never had problems like this at Ritawa Hiss back when I was still teaching. And if you don't want to take my word for it, you can ask them. It was students at the time. They'll tell you what it was like, won't they? I was out in the forest at least four days a week back then, thanks to a colossal workload from Master. It wrought havoc on my poor tail, so I didn't exactly keep up to date with what was going on at the Academia. Most of what I know, I heard from Sino after the fact. Professors become a lot more laid back in his retirement. He used to be far stricter, and was especially known for being extremely principled. Wow, it's hard enough to stay true to your principles as a normal person. I can't imagine doing that as a sage. It's a pity Kale wasn't around at the time. I would have happily taken her on as a student. And then we'd have one more person who has to address Lisa as upper class woman. Really? Can't you just call her Lisa? She seems to prefer it when people treat her like an older sister. Oh, believe me. Back when she was a student, nothing made her happier than the younger students acknowledging her seniority. Whoa, more food? Are you sure about this? We don't want to take advantage. Oh, don't worry about it. Order whatever you like. And if it's not enough, order some more. <laughs> After all your help today, Treating you to dinner is the least I can do. I thought I heard some familiar voices. Ah, and Sir Cyrus is here as well. Oh, Kave, it's been a while. Zahahadi was talking about you last month. How have you been? I've been all right, thank you. You're looking very well, sir. I'm glad to see it. Have you eaten yet? Uh, care to join us? That's awfully kind of you, but I had a late lunch, so I'm not really hungry just yet. I'll have dinner a little bit later tonight. I just came to Lombard's to buy some wine, and when I heard some voices I recognized, I thought I'd come and say hello. So what's the occasion, anyway? Some sort of celebration? Uh, consolation, more like. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. Sounds like things have really gone downhill since I was there. Uh, my whole time as a student, I've never heard of anything remotely like that. I can't believe how young the guy is. Oh, what are his parents going to think? Uh, young people are always more susceptible to making rash and ill-advised decisions. Their minds are still developing. It's just an unfortunate fact of life. But still... This boy has some nerve. Just look at what he wrote. Oh, it makes my blood boil. Wow, yeah. Jeez. I will always be watching you and all of your secrets. And then he just followed you into the house of Dana? If this were my son, oh, he'd get the scolding of a lifetime. Oh. Luckily... I'm also an extremely principled person. Kave! Your order's ready, sir! Uh, coming! I'll have to get going. Have a nice evening, everyone. I'll catch you all another time. Okay, bye-bye! Here I am. The coffee beans are in here, too. Yep, it's all there. I'll stop babbling away now. Let's eat before the food gets cold. Mine, too. I'll have to walk home to burn some of it off. Thanks for dinner, Sir Cyrus. Master Tainari and I will bring you some homemade herbal tea next time. It'll do wonders for your sleep. 
Well, I look forward to that. In fact, uh, could I trouble you to bring a little extra for the other old folks on my street? I'll be the envy of the neighborhood. <laughs> no problem at all. I'll pack some up and bring it over. Ah, I'll see you all later. I better head home now and tend to the crops. Good night, Professor. Don't let those tomatoes keep you up too late. Hey, my tomatoes are serious business. I am not about to be beaten by Zaha Hadi. Anyway, I'll be leaving now. Don't stay up too late now, children. I bid you all a good night. Take care! Have a safe trip home! <sighs> all right. Now, we finally have some us time. What do you mean, us time? Well, I was talking with Tainari and Kale, and since we all have some free time, we thought we could all go camping together. Think of it as our way of welcoming you back to Sumeru. Camping? Oh, that sounds fun! Paimon's in! Wait, no! That's my job! Don't take it away from me. Why don't you and Paimon help out Master or Sino? You don't have to play the hero when you're out with us. This is your chance to just, you know, laze around and switch off for a bit. Everyone, let's meet tomorrow afternoon at the riverbank to the southeast of Gandarvaville. No need to bring anything. We've already packed everything for the trip. Just bring your delightful selves and prepare to have some fun. You got it! We'll be there! Great. Then we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>